hello guys welcome back to my channel so what you are seeing here is actually a, uh, a gyro ball okay this is actually uh, used normally used for exercise wrist exercise so how does it work uh, you actually need to spin the the central central uh, what do you call it central ball inside it actually rotates and uh, the faster it moves the uh, greater force it actually um, generates um, because it has a gyroscopic uh, um, characteristics so I will not actually explain about gyroscope so I'm just going to demonstrate how this one works so normally you can uh, power this up power this up by um, rotating this first it's like you got you need to push this one there's an arrow push this one first until you can no longer um, uh, push it because it actually needs needs to have a startup so if you release this one it actually rotates then this time you're going to rotate it um, to to uh, get some momentum so this is actually just a starter okay that's one way to to uh, start it the other way is just need to do like slide it uh, fast and then rotate something like that okay let's try let's try again no it's a bit hard anyways so i'll just do the the first method okay so one is it's it spins you can actually feel the uh the um the force that this this uh, gyro ball is creating because of the gyroscopic uh, characteristic so normally this is like if you will going to have a, a training for air force they actually use the centrifuge so they uh, they were they will be spin around as they uh, spin faster. They will the force of gravity is actually uh, you know, causing them to to get more heavier, and they actually call it as a G force. So the characteristic is actually the same with this one. Okay, and with this gyro ball. You can just rotate it. As you can see, you need to rotate it in this motion so that it will able to to uh, have its momentum and can spin faster. And when you do, you can actually see the light. So I'm actually my hands just still, but you can still see that. Um, it's still moving because of the huge force that this spins have and it also lights up as you can see so so now we're going to have a tear down on this and let's see what's inside all right Alright guys, I have managed to tear it down. So this is actually the internals here. This one actually has a weight. So as this one spin, the uh, centrifugal force is actually acting on the sides of of this uh, going going outward from the center. So that's creating the uh, centrifugal force. So. So if there is someone here, like inside it, they will be uh, pushed outward from the center. And this is actually quite heavy. And the, uh, the LED lights or the, light, the lighting for this one is this one. We have an LED here. And there 
would be some somewhere a sensor probably the sensor is I'm not sure where is the sensor Okay, this is a capacitor and somewhere the sensor is is in here I think this is the one now when this one spins um, this one acts a, as a uh, electromagnetic induction so when it it is attracted with the magnet all the electrons will it, it'll actually create a flow of electricity so flow flow of electrons i'm not actually quite sure where is the the sensor for this all right so this is just the internal this is the lead light the uh, uh, inductors then you have here the capacitor and it's actually coded there is somewhere here a uh, device that'll that'll uh, catch the the magnet to create a flow of electricity so that's why this one will actually the lead will light up okay um, I'll try to put it back and see if this one will work again okay just to add this is actually the uh, mechanism for it to uh, able to spin like uh, to have a startup okay as you can see this is kind of hard to uh, to rotate this is actually a uh, like a wind up uh, metal plate uh, if you had like toys before like when you uh, drag it down and then you release it it's actually the same mechanism as this one okay let's just go back to putting uh, it all together all right so i was able to put it back all together and let's see if this one still works so again there this one here is is like the uh, mechanism to like to have a startup there is actually a lever here if you can see that the white one inside this one is very small actually like um either either uh, clamp clamping it down and clamping it up so that if when it turns uh, turns around it, it'll actually not going to hinder the rotation the opposite rotation of the arrow so the arrow is just like to make the uh, this mechanism to have a, to have a actually affected by this. 